hi there I'm at uh, Door Railway Station in Sheffield it's about four o'clock in the afternoon I've 18 hours of spare time so I thought I'd spend the time doing things I enjoy like walking in the Peak District and also sleeping night under the stars my destination for today is Edale which is only about 25 minutes away on the train hopefully within the next two hours we should be on the top of Kinder Scout uh, which at 2,000 feet is one of the highest and wildest places in the Peak District the weather's looking good uh, the sun has actually come out so I've not bothered bringing a tent and I intend sleeping out in a bivy bag uh, at one of the highest points on Kinder Scout so it's just a matter now of waiting for my train at 4.20 Right, this is my train, so off we go. And 25 minutes later, we arrive at Edale Station. From here, we're going to walk up through Edale Village and then start climbing up onto Kinder Scout itself. Right, we're on Ringing Roger itself now. As you can see, it's more of a scramble than a walk but uh, we're not far off at the top now Right, we can see uh, Ringing Roger in the distance which we left uh, 20 minutes ago we're now up on the Kinder Scout plateau itself and then in the distance we can see Grinsbrook Knoll that's where I intend sleeping tonight on top of uh, Grinsbrook Knoll where it is very windy with it being so exposed we've got the cairn on top there So I'm going to look for somewhere to sleep uh, just over the other side as I think it'll be more sheltered from the wind. Right, I've uh, dropped down the other side of Grinsbrook Knoll to get out uh, of the wind and it's a lot calmer down here. Found a good place to sleep for the night, uh, well sheltered and I've even got my stove set up with my kettle on, ready for a cup of tea. Right, just having a last look at the view before the light starts to go, so it's probably the right time to set me a bivy bag and sleeping bag up for the night. This is a Thermarest uh, self-inflating mattress. Uh, that will go inside the bivy bag so yeah that's your bivy bag Gore-Tex so it's breathable and waterproof then it's just a, a sleeping bag to go inside and that's basically it 
that's set up for the night. Right, just to have a last look at the view before the daylight goes. That's looking down to the Vale of Edale. It's about 10 o'clock now. Light's just beginning to fade. But it's so quiet. The sun's just starting to drop below the horizon. The moon has just appeared from nowhere. It just floated up like a balloon. Dawn is just starting to appear over the horizon towards Sheffield in the east. Well I'm sat here waiting for the sunrise where it should be taking place now um, but the whole top of the hill has been enveloped in a thick cloud and I can't see anything uh, hopefully it should uh, burn this off pretty quick once the sun comes up not a bad place to wake up in the morning when you've got a view like that Right, that's all my uh, gear packed away. Quite surprising, it all fits in that uh, small rucksack. Um, now I've eaten all my food, we weighed 13 pounds when I left. So I dare say it's down to about 12 pounds now. So it's not a bad weight to carry about, knowing you can uh, stay out for a few days, take a bit more food. Right, it's, it's always a pity to leave when the, it's such glorious weather. But my train is due in about 45 minutes, so I better hurry up and get down. So it's back down to Edale. Right, I'm uh, back down at Teadale now, didn't take long to get down, uh, I'm waiting at the station for my train, um, should be back in Sheffield for 10 o'clock, um, what a great way to spend 18 hours. <laughs>